I would like to show you some of the features of our Mixmate Fusion from this angle. We call it the Mixmate Fusion because we have the functionality of measuring by weight in our inductor, but then we can combine uh, bulk measurements through uh, flow meters uh, all mounted on this one compact unit. So the way this works, uh, in this case we're using a gear type flow meter. Uh, this meter comes pre-calibrated and you do not have to calibrate it for different chemicals which makes it very convenient. So what we have here, we have a regulating valve that measures the amount of product into the mix. The gear meter measures the products. There's a strainer here to protect the meter from foreign objects. There are three valves that can be connected to totes or mini bulks. So you connect a hose to each one of these. This top valve is reserved for water. So the way this works, we would pump one product through the valve flow meter and straight to your transfer pump and to your sprayer. Then once that product was in, we would go back and rinse this manifold and then step into the next product and so on. I would like to show you the electrical connections on this side of the machine. We have three connectors here. Uh, the top one here is for the valve stack. This controls this set of digital valves. We have flow meter two right here, which is typically used for the meter within the valve stack. We have a CAN bus connection for expansion of our system. And then this uh, CAN bus cable for this valve plugs into uh, a connector just in the bottom of the system here. Let's take a closer look at this side of the fusion inductor. We have our load cells located here on either side of the co inductor cone. We use these load cells to measure weight of products as they are added to the inductor. Another feature you can see here, this larger hose, one inch hose coming into the inductor, uh, supplies the rinse to the inductor. So it uh, shoots water in around the rim both directions uh, to wash down the sides of that tank. And then this top line, the stainless connector uh, or stainless pipe uh, is for the jug rinse. So that uh, pipe goes in through a hole in the tank. It does not have any contact with the tank. So when a jug is being rinsed, it does not affect the weight of the inductor. Let's take a close look at the bottom of the fusion from this angle. We have our red hose coming out of the inductor that connects up to this valve that's underneath the leg. This valve controls the outlet of the fusion inductor. The computer uses the scale in conjunction with this valve to maintain levels in the inductor. So when the inductor is draining, the computer will stop the flow before it uh, will draw air. And so you won't lose prime or cause extra foaming because the system will not draw air through that cone. Uh, it also uses that scale in conjunction with the valve control to maintain a water level during continuous flow mode in the inductor. Continuous flow is used for dry flowable products. So we would have water coming in around the upper rim of the inductor cone, washing down the sides of the tank. Uh, that flows at about 25 gallons per minute. And uh, that water is flowing con continuously through the inductor and you can use this to dump um, bags of ammonium sulfate, dry fertilizers, uh, jugs of dry flowables in a continuous mode. So you can pour these products through quickly. They would um, uh, be added to this main stream of water flowing through the bottom of the inductor uh, in that manifold and go through your transfer pump and directly to your sprayer. In the continuous mode, products are not measured by weight. It's using the scale to manage that pool of water, so we're not able to measure the products at that point. There are uh, increment and decrement buttons on the screen, so you can manually count off the number of jugs or bags of product that are added in this mode. In the weighing mode for dry products, a pool of water can be preloaded into the inductor and then the dry products are poured into that water and are weighed. Uh, this is a very easy way to um, uh, put dry flowables into solution. 
Between the weighing mode and the continuous mode, we offer one of the best solutions for handling dry flowable products. Let's take a closer look at the connections near the bottom of our fusion. Uh, we have uh, an electrical connector. This is a three pin connector. It's labeled flow meter one. It is typically used for uh, your water flow meter or your fertilizer, the large carrier flow meter. Um, typically that's going to be a three inch flow meter plugged into this port. This bottom connector is a CAN bus connector. It's used for our expansion of our system. So that is plugged into external components. So additional uh, flow meters and valves and um, our flow stack would plug into that port. There's a matching port on the other side, so cabling can come out of both sides and go in both directions. We have electrical connectors under here at the bottom. So the red one is for the positive power coming into the system. There is a bolt underneath the rinse connector for the negative uh, power connection. A battery should be placed very close to this with a minimum of a 10 gauge wire connected to the battery. Uh, we typically like to connect that battery uh, directly to like a charging system. So if you're in a mobile application, we recommend that it's connected to your truck uh, to maintain battery voltage for the system. Uh, and we do not recommend using deep cycle batteries. Our system can have very high demands of power in a short period of time and deep cycle batteries may not respond quick enough for the system to maintain adequate voltage. This is our main power switch. It is used to uh, normally is turned on uh, for the duration of when you're mixing. So uh, turn that one on, it stays on all day. Typically the systems are left on all day. But if you're not going to be using this system for an extended period of time, turn this master power switch off. It will completely cut off all power consumption to the system. This connector is for a 3 8 inch tube fitting. It's a push to fit connector. It's used to supply air to our system. Air is one of the important parts of making our jug process so fast. Uh, we can connect air to that. Uh, when you have a jug that you want completely drained, you can put it right over the rinse nozzle. It will shoot air into that jug and drain it in about two seconds. Uh, while the jug is draining, it's measuring the weight. And when the system sees the jug is empty, it will capture a weight of the chemical. It will turn the rinse water on and the air will continue to flow. We get an extremely effective rinse action with this combination of air and water. The, the water explodes in that jug and is very effective at rinsing the jug. While the jug is rinsing, the system is also using the scale to maintain a uh, low level in the inductor. So it will be draining the inductor while a jug is rinsing. This bottom large 100 flange connector is used to supply rinse water to the inductor and to the jug rinse. We prefer to have about a, it takes about a 25 gallon per minute water supply uh, at about 30 PSI is a nice pressure for that. Uh, typically this is supplied by a secondary pump. Um, most common is a, an additional two inch transfer pump. Some people will use small gas engine one inch pumps which are adequate. Uh, in stationary plants, uh, one inch uh, electric powered pump uh, can be used for that or a city water supply or adequate water supply will work. Um, the system has the capability of controlling electric transfer pumps when in a stationary plant situation. So uh, motor starters can be connected to control high voltage and high power motors. Here at the bottom is the main water manifold. This runs across underneath our uh, flow stacks and under our fusion. Uh, all of the water and bulk material going into the mix flows through this manifold. We have had very good success with 
chemical compatibility and effective mixing since we are adding products to this large stream of water. It does not matter which direction the water flows through this manifold, so whichever way is convenient on your uh, installation, it will work in either direction. Let's take a look at the back of the fusion inductor. Uh, you'll see that at the bottom you can see that water manifold where the water travels through. Uh, we can see the uh, connectors for the totes here on each of these valves and the rinse water here at the top valve. This hole is a finger hole to lift that lid off if you ever need to get inside the box. So inside there are all of our electronics. They're protected from the weather. Everything in our system is designed to be out in the weather, but it keeps the sunlight off, uh, gives a nice neat appearance to our machine to have all of that enclosed. This is the master power controller for our system. When you press this button momentarily, it is going to power up the system. So what you will see is that button will start flashing red as the system is powering up. It is establishing communications between all components of our system during that time. Uh, it will not create a mix until this uh, has a steady red light. Once the steady red light is in place, you can go ahead and start uh, doing a mix. And if at any time uh, you needed to have an emergency stop, for instance, you can momentarily press that button and it's going to execute a safe shutdown. So it would close all the valves and stop the flow of all products in the system. That can also be done with the pause button on the screen. There is also the toggle switch on the side of the machine. That toggle switch shuts off the power to everything. Do not use that switch in an emergency to shut the system down. Uh, it cuts the power to all the valves and at that point you can't close valves. So the safe way is to use emergency stop or use pause on the screen. Preferably the pause on the screen to shut things down. Inside our inductor cone, you can see our jug rinse nozzle. Uh, that is used to drain the jug when you have air connected, and it's also used to rinse jugs. So some operators, uh, when they have full jugs to pour, uh, they will just um, even break the foil over that nozzle. Uh, when you put a jug on here, it triggers this little lever, which is, uh, triggers that sensor. That tells the computer you want to rinse the jug. And so it's going to turn on the air, drain the jug. Uh, when the jug's empty, it'll capture the weight and um, then turn on the rinse water.